In this video, we're gonna be looking at this battery from Lee Power. Now, when I seen this battery, I got pretty excited just because of the form factory of this battery alone. This battery is a slim battery. This is gonna make things so much nicer for installs. As you can see, this battery is roughly about five inches wide and it is about one foot tall and 18 and a half inches long. So this battery, the form factor alone, is gonna be so much more easier for installation in let's say an RV trunk or any installation. And I'll show you why I'm thinking this is gonna be a great product. So now most things on the market for solar and off-grid are pretty slim design already. So this is gonna work out. So let's say you have your battery up against the wall. Then you can have your inverter right beside it up against the wall and then your charge controller up against the wall and you still have space to bring things in and out through your trunk whereas typically before you would have your battery and your battery would be wide this way it would impede into your space so with this slim form factor you will be able to install this virtually anywhere and this is a 200 amp hour capacity battery it's chock full of features. I'll bring the camera in and let's have a look at some of the features on this battery. So on the top of the battery here, we have some heavy duty posts that are screwed down with Phillips screws. And on the top of the battery, we have our voltage at 14.6, our max charging current of 100 amps, our max discharging current of 250 amps, charging temperature, discharging temperature. And for this battery, you can only do a 12 volt pack they do offer a build with a different BMS and you can series these up. But for this battery here, I can only do a 12 volt pack and I could do up to four in parallel. And on the side of the battery, we just have multi-function lithium battery. And these are all the different uh, advertisement things here. Now on the back of the battery here, we have two inputs. They're 12 volt up to 50 amps input and output. And that is achieved through these Anderson connectors. So we have a couple of 50 amp Anderson connectors here, as well as we have a cigarette lighter input, and then we also have a USB and a USB-C and a USB quick charge. This battery also sports a metal case. This is a 200 amp hour battery. This is completely customizable. You can have a different BMS to suit your needs. You can have the Anderson connectors installed or not. You can have the cigarette lighter and, and USB installed or not. You can customize this battery. All you need to do is reach out to the company and ask them and let them know what your plan is for use. With this form factor, I'm really interested to see if we're gonna pull full 200 amp hour capacity. So we will run a test on the capacity as well as I'm gonna tear this battery down and see what the internals are. It looks pretty easy to open up. We only have four Phillips screws around the battery. So with this battery as well, you get a bag of hardware. So you're gonna have your battery caps for the top here. That's gonna protect your lugs, uh, as well as you have another kind that you can use for protecting your lugs, as well as we have our post, our terminal post connectors here. This here has a M8 bolt, as well as a washer a split washer and then either a phillips or a hex head to tighten or loosen what's really cool as well they include these brackets here and these brackets here will allow you to mount this battery to the floor as you can see it comes on the side here and there is two mounting holes on this side as well as two mounting holes on this side, which means that you can mount this down to the floor and keep it from moving around inside of your rig. As well as on the front of the battery, we have a battery capacity meter, which is showing the voltage and the battery capacity indicator, as well as we have some really nice handles here. This is on either side of the battery, which is gonna make it a lot easier to hold and carry. So before I start this test, I want to simulate an over voltage event to see if the BMS will protect the battery. And there you go. We just had an over voltage event and the BMS had stopped charging. 
Okay, I'm now ready to begin my test. I have my a torch tester, I have the battery, and I have my inverter, and this is hooked up to some incandescent light bulbs. On the screen here, this is gonna show me my voltage graph, current, and wattage, as well as I'm gonna have my voltage, my current and amps, my power, and my battery capacity in amp hour, and battery capacity in kilowatt hour. And also we will be able to see the duration of the test. So I'm now ready to begin the test. Now I'm discharging at 40.85 amps, about 41, which is industry standard for a test of battery capacity. And the capacity test has finished and our capacity is 212.91 amp hours, which is 12.91 amp hours above the rated capacity. So this test is a pass. So now it's time to open this up and see what we have inside. Okay, now I need to be very careful as I open this because this is all a metal enclosure. And this lid is on very tight. Okay, I think I've got it loose enough. So let's start over here at the positive and negative. This is the positive, this is the negative, and it looks like this meter on the front here is just calibrated off of voltage. So it's not gonna be that accurate when determining what the actual state of charges of the battery due to voltage. First thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna try and get this balance lead cable off on the uh, BMS to deactivate it, which it looks like we have a bunch of glue that I'm not gonna be able to get off. So this BMS is a JBD TP04S006, 200 amp. So this is a JBD BMS. Okay, so on the positive cable here, I can see it looks like we have a number six wire. I do not see any markings on it, but it appears to be three number six wires, which is going down into the positive of the battery. And then over here on the negative again, it appears like we have two number six wires. Okay, sorry. So we have three number six wires on the battery positive. Two of them run down to the battery positive and one of them runs over and feels like it branches into two. So it feels like we have a crimp connection here that runs in and we have two Looks like number 10 wire running into the Anderson connectors over here, as well as one more, what appears to be number 12 wire that runs into these cigarette lighter and USB ports over here. Okay, so I have removed for safety, I've removed the battery negative from the BMS to deactivate. This is the battery negative and positive, so I just need to be aware of that. So now I can move this case out of my way. Looks like our thermostat probe is for some reason stuck down over here in between these two connectors and glued. Oh, no, it continues down. Oh, no, right here. So the temperature sensor was stuck down in here beside the cells. I would have much rather preferred see this inside with the cells taped directly to them to get an accurate reading. So I want to try and open this up to see what type of cells we have. I think this was the only connection that wasn't glued. Everything else is glued and taped and zip tied. Okay, now I should be able to cut away at this and see if I can see what type of cells are in here and how they have them configured. Okay, I think I got enough of that, like, caulking out of the way. Let's see. Oh, 
Okay, we've got a piece of fiberboard on top, like a resin fiberboard. Okay. Looks like all the balance cables have the spiral on them. Very nice on management, on wire management here. And we have all of our terminals are crimped and soldered, which is nice. As the markings on the cell, I only see a sticker here. So I don't see a barcode on these cells. All they have is kind of like this sticker. It says ZK number 216724. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to take all this apart and pull these cells out and see what we got. All right, I was able to slide the battery pack out of the case. So it looks like we have four cells here. And what they had done was this was the main positive, and then it was seriesed, and then seriesed series and then main negative okay so we could see here they got all this fiber tape holding it together okay we can barely see but there is an insulator that they have in between the cells so you can see right here they do have a insulator separating the cells which is nice so all in all These must be 200 amp hour cells. I mean, the size of these cells are tiny for 200 amp hours, but they pass capacity. So I'm going to say they're grade A cells. So I'm going to put it all back together and then I'm going to test the uh, low temperature protection on this BMS. Okay, now for the low temperature disconnect test, I am now charging with about 5.45 amps. I have my negative connected directly to the BMS negative and my positive connected directly to the battery. So now I'm gonna try the disconnect test. And there we go, we have low temperature disconnect. So now if I warm this back up, and we have charging again, and we have low temperature disconnect. So the low temperature disconnect works on this sensor. Okay, I've got the battery all put back together. This is the Lie Power battery. All in all, you've seen inside, great build quality. Wire management was amazing. Uh, the only thing I didn't like that I found was the temperature sensor was not affixed to the cells. Now, another recommendation I have for this company, because they do have floor mounts on either side, but I would recommend offering a strap that'll run across, back, and then you can drill into the walls on either side and maybe put some neoprene in between that strap and this case so that it doesn't scratch if it moves around. But other than that, I mean, the form factor of, of being slim like this, you can mount your charge controller, you can mount your inverter, you can mount your shore power connection, you can mount everything all in a row and every and you're going to leave an open area for your trunk which is really amazing so light power battery 200 amp hour passed all my tests great battery nice metal case check them out i'll leave links in the description below and thanks for watching bye